Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Hey Leo! We're starting this cycle. We're starting it out with you because it is your season. So, on with the August readings. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, no mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can, maybe vice versa, may play out from the perspective of the cross watcher, and cross watchers are walking here too. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. Uh, let's see what the deal is with you, what the deal is with them, what the issue is and how to resolve it. Maybe get you a little bit of advice at the end. Leo, why are you here? Seven of Cups in the reverse. Perhaps a little bit of confusion going on right now. Mixed emotions, mixed feelings. Not quite sure where you're going. Not quite sure which cup to take, maybe. Okay, well... How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Knight of Wands in the reverse. You may want to commit. Huh? You may finally be ready. Okay. Maybe you're done with the whole in and out of each other's lives thing. Maybe you've been playing the game for a while. Maybe you're finally ready to commit. What do you think of them? You could also feel like they might be ready for a commitment. What do you think? The tower in the reverse. You may think it's time to rebuild the tower or you think that that's how they think. Take it however it resonates. So far I'm feeling you want a commitment. You want to rebuild the tower. You're thinking it might be time. World reversed. That's a return card. You don't want this cycle to end with this person. But there's confusion and there's mixed emotions. How do they feel about you, the lovers? Leo? They feel the connection just as strong as you do. That's cool. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with, I guess, a Scorpio. What do they think of you? Six of Swords in the reverse. This is someone you're disconnected from. It may be thinking come back around. Time for a return. What do they want from you? Five of swords. Let's pick up the pieces. Love it, Leo. But there's always an obstacle. What is it? Temperance. Patience. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Okay. Since this is showing up as an obstacle, maybe someone doesn't quite have the patience for it. Or there isn't such a positive energy flow. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. Maybe you don't always relate to each other in a positive way. Okay. What can be done? Eight of Pentacles reversed. How? How could not working on something be a solution to a problem? Maybe someone works too much. Maybe someone isn't putting the work into the connection that they should. Okay. Let's throw some clarity on it. Why not? Why not? Okay. I drop some cards. That happens with this table.
Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for Leo? For August 2020, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm not going to clarify all the cards because I don't need to. I'm only going to clarify the confusing ones. Ace of Cups reversed comes out without intention. It goes over here. Perhaps the cup has been spilled before. Okay. Perhaps part of the confusion is you don't know if you want to make a new start. Or you don't know if you want something new or if you want to return to it. Or you want it to come back to you. Okay, fair enough. Wise temperance here. Queen of Wands reversed. What the hell, I'll bring it up. Maybe how you relate to each other in certain relationship matters of a certain nature. Um, oh gosh, why dance around it? It's not going so good in the bedroom, possibly. Maybe someone's losing passion in that nature. Okay. That could be part of the obstacle. One more on that. Oh my! Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Six of Wands in the reverse. Maybe someone's not so confident. that certain aspect. One more. One more. Not 20, just one. Just one. On the flip side of that, someone may be struggling with the return. I'll take two, three, Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor reversed, Two of Swords reversed. <sighs> oh. Maybe someone works a lot with this Eight of Pentacles, or they're putting work into other things. Maybe someone perhaps still feeling vulnerable or out of control in the connection. Somebody doesn't quite have a handle on their stuff, know what I'm saying? And maybe someone is just refusing to see things through rose-colored glasses and this is a difficult decision for them. If you've been playing the game before, especially if you got a tower to rebuild, if you're standing in the rubble of a relationship, maybe you're not quite sure if you want to rebuild it. That being said, why is the tower reversed here? Thanks. Huh, three of cups pops out. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords reversed, Page of Cups, Five of uh, uh, wow. Okay. Truths came out. Things came grinding to a halt. There was confrontations, possibly a third party situation. Perhaps somebody decided to take a cup from someone else and that's where the tower fell. Maybe there's confusion as to whether you want to fill the cup back up again. Hmm. 
Why is the Six of Swords here? Page of Wands. Eight of Swords. There, there's Wands. Lots of Wands. Moving forward on the path. Communication from new people. Someone's all up in their head. I mean, they want to return, but what about the path I'm already on? Or they're already on. What if this? What if that? What if we go right back to where we were again? A lot of what ifs here. Seven of Cups. There's great stuff in some of these cups. Spiritual growth and change, money, happiness, and there's some not so great things in some of these cups. So what ifs? Someone still may have options. All right. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here for what needs to be done? Then we'll get your advice. I'm not going to clarify the other four. I think they speak for themselves. Oh my. Five cards came out. No. If it happens again, I'll take them. But Nine of Wands reversed. Shadow side reversed. That's the Devil card. Okay. Someone may need to disconnect from some toxic behaviors. Stop putting work into things that work doesn't need to be put into. Walls need to come down. Ten of Wands. Burdens need to be released. Some of y'all may just need to hand it over to the universe. I know. It's hard. Especially for a fire sign. Letting go of that wheel can be hard. You don't always have to be in control, Leo. Specifically, if you're not the only one on the bus. I'm just saying. Gotta relinquish, walk up that rocky tower, leave it at the steps of the castle and let what have, have. Let what will, will. Let what be, be. Let what do, do. Let's get your advice. Four of swords in the reverse, eight of swords in the reverse. Don't let the restless energy of this consume you. Don't let what ifs consume you. Don't let other people's what ifs consume you. Maybe you just have to release it. Judgment in the reverse, five of cups in the reverse.
even a reversal of judgment and someone changing their mind about the situation isn't going to change what has happened. You cannot refill cups that have been spilled. The only thing you can do is come out of that state of sadness and finally decide to walk away from that river of tears and walk away from the bar or however you will, whatever's depicted on the card, whatever. And turn your cups up and fill them again, but you cannot refill it with what has been built. You cannot turn back the hands of time, no matter how hard you try. All you can do is fill it with something different. The sun and the three of pentacles reversed. It does not matter how bright that sunshine is or how strong that connection is. If it is built on an unstable foundation, that tower is just going to fall again. You have to keep that in mind. You need to stabilize the foundation before you do anything. Four of Pentacles in the upright death in the reverse. If you keep holding on to those negative emotions and those negative thoughts and those negative feelings in the past, change cannot happen. If you keep holding on to your spilt cups and not allowing them to be filled again because they just got tipped over the first time, why bother? No, no. The only one with the power to change any of this is you. You can't rerun the past, but you can build a strong, stable future. But you have to let go. You have to release. You have to stop putting energy into things that don't matter. You have to disconnect from the toxic energy. And what has been, and build a future for what could be. But you have to decide what you want. The decision is yours. Okay, Leo. This is what I have for you for the month of August. Let me know if it resonates. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. Much love and be blessed. Catch you next time.